So this was actually inspired by a video that I watched this morning that was released seven hours ago by Y Combinator. So that's the big San Francisco Bay Area startup accelerator that we've applied to. And they talk about different interesting concepts relating to startups. So often I steal good ideas that I see from different people. And what they wanted to talk about was actually the importance of caring about the customer. So most businesses, by the fact that it's a business, have some form of product or service which they want to charge for in exchange for a good or a service. So if someone gives you some money and you give them the pen or whatever it is that they've bought from you. But the truth is most people when they start a business or if they've been going for a while, it can easily become driven by the KPIs, the goals, the revenue targets, ship more, sell more, and basically that kind of thing. One of the things that I did a talk on a few weeks ago, which was the whole point of the small chair, is actually to always keep in mind the voice of the customer. So the world's best companies always keep in mind, and quite literally it's a management technique, where if you have a boardroom of people, you always keep one chair free for the customer. And the idea is, is that every decision you make or every, how your business operates, imagine that one of your customers was always in the room and the reason why this is really important is that basically the decisions that you would make as a business and the things that you say behind closed doors would probably be different if you knew that a customer was there and they could hear what you're saying. And the truth is businesses which actually genuinely care about the customers will develop better products, they will develop better relationships and they will be more successful than people that don't. Um, and actually it's just, it's really important to almost keep that in mind that if you self if you're selfish in your decision making, that you just want to maximize profits and you don't really care about the needs of the customer, someone else, often a startup or smaller entity, will react quicker, react more, and actually do a better job to build that relationship. And hence your industry could get disrupted. In some ways for the roadmap, this is exactly what we are looking to do. The, don't get me wrong, I've been to university a few times, I love the process, I love what they do, and it changed my life. But the issue is the world has changed since I went to university 20 years ago. And now there are millions of people that can't access education and training, especially business education and training that can change their life. That I am massively passionate about this because I know what it's like. I've been there, I have family in that position, that I've personally lived the experience to know what it's like when you can't afford access to something that you desperately want. So the whole way and everything about our business is built around the customer to really genuinely think, <clears throat> how can we build something which is better than everyone else? And the whole point is, if you care about the customer, it will actually give you a competitive advantage over your competition and other people in the market that don't care as much. And the more you can put yourselves in the shoes of the customer to live their lives, to understand their lived experience and what they want in terms of their products or services, genuinely for a business strategy course and what we're looking to do is to give you these advantages over the competition. This is a great way to do that. And the truth is businesses which don't really care about their customers are more likely to fail. They're gonna have less customer advocacy. They're gonna have less recommendations. And actually, if you ever want to start a business and you maybe don't know what it is yet, if you can pick a topic that you're really passionate about and you actually want to make a change in the world, because hopefully that enthusiasm will actually show through in your products and services and communications and marketing and live streams and stuff, and it will genuinely make a big difference to your business. So it was just something I wanted to mention today. If you see this on YouTube or Twitter or any of the other platforms, please kind of like and subscribe on this channel. We cover business and entrepreneurship type content. Uh, my name's Steve Pugh and check out roadmapmba.com as well.